Hello everyone, welcome to Ravis Academy. In today's class, we will be learning the concept of sections of solids by means of a, an object. I have shown that object, you can see that the isometric view of the object is given and uh, you will be learning how to draw the sections of solids by means of this particular solid. Now, first step is uh, you have to draw the orthographic projections of this given solid and usually you are going to start with the base of the solid you are going to draw. The base is rectangle. Let us draw xy reference line and the top view is a rectangle. Draw the rectangle of given dimensions and you can see it is a concentric circles. It appears in top view because it is a counter boring operation is done for Allen bolt and that is the object. This is the top view and draw the projectors and draw the front view. Front view also it appears rectangle and in this you can see these uh, holes it appears with a hidden edge and uh, this also you can draw the projector and uh, this appears as a dashed line. Now you can see this what is the projections of the solids in simple position. Now let us uh, understand this in uh, orthographic uh, view of uh, complicated objects complicated in the sense you have uh, too many hidden edges. When too many hidden edges are represented with a dashed line, so to understand the component becomes uh, difficult. So without understanding manufacturing component also not possible for that reason. So these particular, uh, you know, no, this knowledge is useful in manufacturing. Now we have assumed that let us consider the solid and exactly you are cutting by means of a an imaginary plane. Let us see that uh, it is it is called cutting plane. Cutting plane or section plane you are splitting that solid into two halves and uh, the portion between the cutting plane and the observer this assumed to be removed. Assumed to be removed right and uh, after removing the section appears like this and uh, uh, this section the contact between the cutting plane and the solid you are going to indicate it with the hatching and uh, the standards for the hatching is uh, you have to draw the 45 degree line and uh, all the equispacer lines you have to give a gap of uh, 2 to 3 mm this is what is exactly the standard of uh, hatching you have to maintain that equispacer lines 2 to 3 mm gap 45 degrees. So these are the various points and uh, you have to remember three important points in this. Let me write the first point, points to remember. The first point is here, let us see the cutting plane. The cutting plane which is also known as section plane. Cutting plane is a perpendicular plane. It is a cutting plane or I am calling it as a section plane is perpendicular plane. It is a perpendicular plane means it may be perpendicular to HP or it may be perpendicular to VP. So it appears as a line, it appears as a line in top view and that line you are going to represent here you can see that by means of a axis line notation within the object and ends you are making thick, ends you are making thick, you are writing CP capital letters represents cutting plane. So this is the notation for the your cutting plane or section plane. So this is the first point, cutting plane is a perpendicular plane, it may be perpendicular to HP or VP and the notation for this is you are going to draw a line, that line is axis line ends with a thick, your ends with a thick and you are writing above that uh, CP stands for cutting plane, this is your first step. and uh, the second point you have to remember that after cutting this, the object between the cutting plane and the observer assumed to be removed. And when you remove this, the surface between the cutting plane and the solid 
that is what is uh, known as section. So that section you are usually you will be following this hatching. So that means you are going to get a sectional view. It is called a simply section or sectional view. So this sectional view you are going to indicate it with the hatching. So let me draw this. Now it becomes continuous lines and uh, this you are going to indicate with the uh, hatching 45 degree line and you are maintaining that uh, equispacial line usually it is 2 mm. So this is what is your section or sectional view and uh, third point you have to remember the third point is the true shape of the section whenever the cutting plane or section plane is inclined and if it is inclined you can't see the true shape of the section in the projected view. For that, you need to consider a, an auxiliary plane. It is called true shape. To get the true shape, what you have to do is you have to draw a line represents auxiliary plane parallel to the cutting plane, parallel to the cutting plane, and project on that plane, and so that you are going to get the true shape of the section. I think uh, you have to remember these are three points uh, in order to you know understand the sections of solids. So this knowledge you can extend to solve the problems of any solid. Thank you.